In today's video I will explain you how applying the rule of thirds will improve all your future artworks. The rule of thirds is referring at breaking down an image into horizontal and vertical thirds that will give us 9 equal parts with 4 intersecting points. What this means is that when you create your artwork you should place your most important parts of it, a character or an object, at the intersection of those vertical and horizontal lines. Our eyes naturally are more attracted or we can focus better on those 4 intersecting points rather than the center of the image. Those rules of course are just guides, you can respect them or not, it's just up to you, but if you follow this rule of thirds your designs will be really well balanced. If you work a lot with landscapes then you need to decide if your ground level is more important than the sky. And uh, after that you will need to align your horizontal line with the horizon line. So you end up with a really balanced artwork. If you want to place a person for example, you can place the head at the intersection of one of the horizontal and vertical line. As you will see in this video, I'm not always go 100% for this rule. Sometimes I place my characters exactly in the middle if I want to focus the eyes of my viewers in the center. So you can break this rule whenever you want. The shortcut to show or hide the grid is Ctrl and apostrophe and normally Photoshop shows us something like that. Let's leave it on and then go to edit, preferences and here choose guides, grid and slices. And on the grid part we will change the inches to percent and the grade line every 100 and then subdivision 3 and if you want you can change the color to display a magenta if you prefer or you can leave it uh, any color that you want if a custom color and then press ok and now we have the rule of thirds activated and if you look at my design my older artwork you will see that I have respected um, a lot of things so first of all I have placed this singer at the intersection of uh, the horizons uh, line with the vertical line. For the singer I have placed her also at the intersection of uh, vertical line with horizontal line. So if you don't want to see all the time this uh, uh, guide, this grid on the screen, you can press Ctrl and H that will uh, hide everything that you have, a uh, guide or anything else or you can press again Ctrl and apostrophe which is uh, the shortcut to show or hide the grid. The second method to use the uh, rule of thirds, it's uh, a thing that I use a lot, it's uh, completing the other one with uh, the grid, it's by using the crop tool. So you select the crop tool and here on the top area settings icon and if we want to use the rule of thirds we can uh, select it and then if we click on the screen you see that we already have uh, the default rule of thirds on the screen already. Um, but you, you have different types of overlays, for example, grid, um, you have diagonal, you have uh, triangle, uh, golden ratio or golden spiral. So you can use any of uh, those guides to help you to create a better art. So in our case, rule of thirds. And if you press escape, it will uh, hide it. And then if you press C again and click on the screen, you will... Uh, have it uh, there. I didn't really respect it this totally but it helped me to place my characters really well. Here you can see that I have placed my character at the intersection of vertical with horizontal line and also uh, I have my, my horizontal line aligned with the horizon line. Here the same things you can see the monster is exactly at the intersection of uh, vertical line with horizontal line. Also the van is on the vertical line and uh, the explorer is exactly the head it's uh, matching the intersection here and also here. And I want to show you a perfect example from uh, Master Xiang Zhao where he applied this rule of thirds perfectly. So uh, we can see that the character is here at the intersection of horizontal with vertical line. Also the horizon line, it's matching uh, this horizontal line. Also the placement of the robots. Here you can see this one and also this one on top. To make a, a really quick test for you to understand how I uh, decide to place my characters. For this type of photo we can really easily see 
the horizon line which is here and now if we press the C, the crop tool, uh, we can uh, decide if we want the action to be here down below, but I think it's a shame <laughs> to waste that beautiful sky, so I'm going to do the opposite, I'm going to drag the bottom area until we face that horizon. And now for my characters, if I decide to use this one for example, and uh, here the horizon isn't that clear, but we can uh, see it, and we have to match uh, the horizon line of this photo where uh, which I think it's uh, somewhere around here and we can move it a bit to face uh, our horizon line which is uh, here. After that I can uh, add a mask and mask my guy out and depending on how big I want him to be or small uh, I can uh, make him small but keep in mind that you need to have the same horizon line so for example if I want to make him uh, let's say smaller and uh, if I make him smaller and place him like that let's uh, hide this uh, guy I'm going to bring back the full photo to hide the mask you will see that the horizon line of this photo is somewhere around here and my horizon line of uh, the background is here so this is not working because uh, my result won't be realistic so what i have to do if i want him to be at this size is to move him uh, up so both photos should have the same horizon so something like that so keep that in mind if you want to make your character bigger or smaller you should have the same horizon line after that for the second character for this uh, uh, dragon i don't have any horizon line so i can place him anywhere i will have the same horizontal line here where the dragon uh, meets the grass as the warrior does so after that i'm going to press uh, control and uh, apostrophe and uh, luckily <laughs> without knowing uh, where I will place my character because I'm doing this for a long time I place him uh, pretty well so uh, I think we can move him if you want to have more distance something like that or even uh, closer if you want but keep in mind it should be he should be at the intersection uh, or at the vertical line of this rule of thirds as for the dragon uh, the same here we can play more uh, the dragon can be here at the intersection of uh, this part or you can move it uh, backwards uh, make the dragon uh, smaller if you want uh, that's uh, really up to you let's uh, hide the grid and uh, I think uh, our characters are really well placed and we can start now our photo manipulation if you found this video useful, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch those videos next if you want to learn even more about photo manipulation and Photoshop.